One man I'm think he'll get away with this. Boy, you gotta file unemployment. <laughs> Pondering over this topic for the last couple of days, I said, I don't know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna let everything come out slowly, and everything that I feel like that I needed to collect has came out, girl. So I'm here with my opinion uh, about this teacher that got fired, plus uh, 50 million other things. But honey, this is a what's TJ Lent. Um, usually I don't uh, um, open up videos, you know, acting like I'm Tony Braxton. Look at um, child. <laughs> I'm here with a what's TJ Lent. Let's roll the intro. Let's get into the tea. Enough singing, okay? <laughs> Start off this video, and I want to talk about this um, rapper, singer, entertainer, inter influence. Look, at, I don't know who he is, but his nickname is JP or something. Shout out to me because that's my initials as well. But he recently came out as gay. He was on some podcast, I think the No Jump podcast. Girl, if it was a No Jump podcast, they need to burn that set down immediately. Well, like four or five years ago, I had uh, I had relations with a young man, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. No pity. No, 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 this shit ain't no yeah, motherfucking yeah. joke. This shit is real. Anyway, so it was about like four, five Tell years ago, right? So like everybody, so like, yeah, like everybody knew at least like all oh, my niggas and shit. Like they all knew, like, but nobody get no fuck is like who the fuck gonna do something to me? Yeah, yeah. And I was still like, I was still plenty of bitches. Fact is crazy. So yeah. everybody was like, so like, it, like, like the pictures and shit, they been around type shit. But like, as soon as my shit started going viral, and I got a name, somebody else, uh, uh, uh a little shorty leaked them. So, mm, my brother, bitch. so look, no, I mean, I, I wouldn't even trip it though, cause like, I said, I ain't really getting up for it, it happened mm. just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I ain't know nothing about this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hell no, I didn't know. Like, everybody, yeah, 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 come on, listen, yeah, come on. Listen, man. All right, so you made a decision, right? Yeah. So when you made that decision, did you like your experience? Would you do it again? Hell yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that was a great question. <laughs> what? That's crazy. The pussy was headed. Friend, what? So I live for it, but it's made this big, big moment and has split the internet, <laughs> split the internet in tubes over the last couple of weeks. Half of the internet is like, you know, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful, he's came out. And the other side of the internet is like, you know, how dare him? Another black male swallow up. <laughs> uh, another one, another one put in our face. I'm like, Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. You ain't got to get I don't scream his music. I'm a gay male and I don't scream. I don't know. Girl, let me say something. He come knock on my door with a million dollars in a suitcase and say, name one song, sing one lyric, <laughs> him one beat. And I would fuck up an opportunity of a million dollars. But the internet is on fire. And I just really want to say I am so proud of him. There has been a lot of, you know, entertainers that has came out as of recently if they're bisexual, fully gay, pansexual. There's been a lot of entertainers that's coming out. And I live for that. I live for that. If there's any entertainers that don't want to come out but just want to swing in my DMs, I'm always living for that as well. So you can follow me on Instagram. I am Jalen Porter. But that's the first subject I want to talk about, okay? The next thing I want to speak about is Flo Millie being attacked on stage. When I fucking catch you home, Flo Millie, Alabama comes out, okay, baby? It's giving very much Mobile, Alabama, girl, Mobile, it comes out, and she's going off, and she storms off stage. The same situation happened, not with Flo Millie, but with Ari Lennox. You want to know something? Rod Wave, big ass, did not come out and tweet, didn't say, didn't acknowledge, didn't apologize. Didn't do any damn thing on the behalf of Ari Lennox, but he took his ass on stage every night and, and fell the fuck off with his big back ass. In the arms of the angel. I just look at a child. Now, in the situation with Flo Millie, Ghana did actually tweet something, and like I can't remember what it said verbatim because it was like a week ago, but he tweeted something out, and I wanted to acknowledge that because a lot of these rappers disrespect their openers. They act like the openers are not on the same stage that they're on. 
30 minutes later. Half of the time, I don't live for the opener, but I still hold the utmost respect for the opener because they're, do, they're there to do a job. And there's no need for no disrespect, no cups being thrown, no nothing being thrown at the opener. If you don't like the opener, just be a little tardy to the party. Don't be tardy for the party. are not general remission no more. You don't have to show up super fucking early to get a seat. Okay, bitch? It's giving very much reserved seat and show up tardy to the party. If you don't like who to open it, show up tardy to the party. Go get you a cup of cocktails, get you a chicken tender or three. Girl, do something else. Don't disrespect the artist. Cardi B. So Cardi B has, girl, became very famous over the last couple of months for arguing with her fucking fans. And I'm just fed up. I'm tired. As a Barty game, I haven't I haven't had the honor of being cussed out. But as a Barty game, baby, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired on the behalf of the people that have been cussed out. Every time Cardi B does not see something that she likes from her fan base, she gets on Twitter and she starts a fucking riot. She pouts, she screams, she goes all off, and she tells us no album is coming. Now, we're literally in May, okay? We're in May. May is over. Blink your eyes three times, May disappear, okay? Almost halfway through this year, and there hasn't been any announcement on an album. I thought we were going into the album, but there hasn't been any announcement on the album. And just for her to go on this tip and tantrum on Twitter and talk about some, you know, the album's not coming. I'm enjoying my time with my family. I'm resting them. I have my plans. I'm booked for the summer. Enjoy being booked for the summer. Enjoy the vacations. It might be your last couple of vacations, bitch. Honestly, as a person that has had patience, and you know saying, you know, Cardi doing her thing, she'll, she'll drop the album when she drops the album. For me to be at a level of like, girl, Cardi B, fuck you in that album. Literally, it blows my mind. Because it's been so long. Correct me if I'm wrong, but next year makes seven years without an album, without an EP, without a little phone to track, without anything. Like, Cardi, mixtape, girl. And how long can we hold on to Invasion of Privacy? Because I'm tired. I don't want her ass to be booked at no other fucking festival until she grabs an EP out of her ass or an album. I, I'm tired of Be Careful, Rang, 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 Bodak Yellow, Cardi Black, what, what is it? I, chicky, Chicky Nasty Hoes. I'm tired of them all. I'm tired of them all. I'm done. I'm done. Even the verses. Even these, the 50 second, 30 second, 50 second. I'm tired of the verses too. How long can you hold on to the momentum? Because, I, I, girl, let me tell you something. When the album drops, of course, there are going to be people listening. But is there going to be people actually giving a fuck to, come on, let's promote this album. Come on, let's keep screaming over and over. Is it going to be, or, or is people just going to listen and see what the fuck has she, what does she have to offer after eight years? And then just drop it on his head. <sighs> people don't like to work anymore. They like to put their little quick singles and they burn out. <laughs> and you put another one out. <laughs> I, I, come on, Beyonce. Now, uh, Cardi B, I'm not gonna see you tuck on your wig whole video. We're gonna move right on, baby, because there's other things we gotta talk about. Um, Megan Thee Stallion, where the fuck is your album? On the topic of albums, where the fuck is Megan Thee Stallion? Let's bring both of the sisters in. Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, where the fuck is Megan Thee Stallion? Megan just started her tour yesterday, which was a phenomenal tour. Megan, you're gearing up to go on, I think, about 30, 40 dates with no motherfucking album. The set list, it is cute. Let me pull this set list up. The set list on her tour is it's pretty, pretty cute. But, baby, it would look even motherfucking fine like wine if it was a brand new album attached to this goddamn set list. Bro, Megan Thee Stallion opens up with his. Look at your child. His was cute, but that's not what the fuck needs to open a tour titled Hot Girl Summer. It just got ice cold in this bitch. <laughs> his shouldn't even be performed live. It just made me a, a quick little interlude, but that's my, that's, that's my little talk. We go into Ungrateful, Thought Shit, Freak Nasty, Megan's Piano, Gift and a Curse, the Hot Girl, Kitty Cat, Cobra. I love Kitty Cat. Cobra, Plan B, um, Cognac Queen, Big Old Freak, Girls in the Hood, Boa, Sex Talk, Eat It, Eat It, Eat It, Eat It, Eat It, Sex Talk, Eat It, What's New, Tell Me Hey the What's, I love that one, Captain Hook, um, Southside, Forever Freestyle, Ride or Die, Pop It, Wanna Be, Wop, NDA, Don't Stop, Style and Freestyle, Cash Shit, Body and Savage. Savage ending the show is very comedic, even with um how big of Savage was. I just, I don't know. I don't know why it's ending the show. Also, I don't know why we opened the show with his. Regardless of how the songs are in order, the tour looked amazing. Rich, 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 rich. Now, the body remix with Beyonce to um the Get Me Body. Oh, that's so But 
the tour was really, really pretty. It looks really, really good. And congratulations to Megan Thee Stallion doing an arena tour with Glorilla. And I'm gonna be honest, baby. Megan Thee Stallion has sold this tour out because I know Glorilla ain't, and I love Glorilla. No shade, no, no shade, just honesty. I know Glorilla ain't selling no tickets. Maybe a couple, but not that many. Okay, so shout out to Megan Thee Stallion selling this motherfucking tour out, baby. But let's move on to the next topic, honey, because there's a couple things we gotta talk about. A couple more things we gotta talk about, okay? Um, which way, which way I wanna go? Let's tug on this bitch's wig. Jada Wader. Back in the day, they used to say, I wanna be Jada Wader, 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 Wader. I wanna be Jada Wader, 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 Wader. Now Jada Wader wanna be the next bitch. At first, bitches want to be you. I'm going to be Jada Wader, 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 and finna sell it to a couple other bitches. <laughs> so the girls went on social media and said, you know, Jada Wader just stole my bikinis. So Jada Wader ended up formally making an apology into the girl's DM. And the damn apology, if I ain't never read BS, bitch, it's certified that I done read some today. The apology was some bullshit. It was some bull. Oh, double, double L. Triple L. Fuck double. Triple L. Bullshit, girl. Jada Wader takes her ass in this girl's DM and says, Hi, I just want to say that I'm very sorry about all of this. I realized that you wasn't selling the bikinis anymore since 2021. I don't give a fuck if the bitch wasn't selling them since this barat ass crap out of office. Bitch, I, look here. There, there's no selling it. They're, they're mine. Anyways, let me read the good rest of the stuff. She said, I realized that you wasn't selling the bikinis anymore since 2021, so I didn't think it would be a big deal since there are plenty of other brands with that same concept. I definitely understand how it made you feel because I've been a victim of things like this before. Now she sound like a fucking Karen. I have a black, I promise, I, I have a black best friend, cousin, niece, nephew, uncle, chihuahua. Bitch girl, hush. She's talking about some, I definitely understand how it made you feel because I've been a victim of things like this before and I hate not to go about this the right way without taking accountability as a black female business owner as well. Well, I say all that to say I will not be selling the swimsuit. Girl, of course you not. And if you was, wouldn't nobody go buy it. You can't, you just got caught up. Of course you can't sell it no more. Cut the inventory. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> anyway, she said I will not be selling the swimsuit anymore that was inspired by your company. I wish you and your brand the best and most success. Maybe one day we can collaborate on something even hotter. Is it an underhanded compliment out of there? Like, was it not? It was hot enough. Even hotter. It was, it was, oh girl, it was spicy. Fresh out of the oven when you were stealing it, bitch. Oh! Oh. For her to steal this girl's brand, like literally see like, oh, that's cute. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna sell it. And then to know so much about the girl, to know that she hasn't been selling those bikinis since 2021. You, you knew so much. You knew so much, but did not reach out. And then have to put the, uh, we should collaborate in the future. Bitch, collaborate on this ass whooping. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> Let's collaborate on this ass whooping. Where the fuck are you? Tell what I want to DM her ass back. Are you out of your fucking mind? And it's just like, Jada, you done had a couple cute pieces. But now it makes me think, like, how many pieces been stolen? Or is this your first, you know, slip up? Well, have you beat some on some more pieces? <laughs> Have you be some on some more pieces from your Jada? Wait a minute, lie. <laughs> I love you, be smart, girl. I love you. Oh my goodness. But, bitch, I just, girl, the DM was crazy. The DM was crazy. The DM was crazy. It was so many. It was kind of like under, it was like a little shady, underhanded comments. And it was just too much for me, this teacher. So, it was this teacher on TikTok Live, okay? He was on TikTok Live. And while he was live streaming, it was girls like doing his hair, okay? And girls doing his hair. And he ended up seeing like a whole bunch of hate comments on the live screen, but it wasn't like a big, big, you know, global sensation thing like it is now. But he ends up taking the live screen, screen recording it, and, and slapping a motherfucking audio message under it. And he's dragging, okay? He's dragging, okay? But you couldn't tell him nothing. He was standing on all to his toes, bitch. He's talking about some you this, that, 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 doo -doo. doing his big one, right? Now that video goes viral. The live didn't do no fucking numbers, but girl, he was bothered about the live. But the video he he did in retaliation to the live that did some numbers okay blows the fuck up over the internet last friday 10 minutes before
before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate. Now, when he got his self fired, I was thinking like, oh my goodness, that's so horrible. I'm like, oh my goodness, why are they trying to make this man a predatory? Like, I, I don't even think he likes women. I, honestly, looking at him, it looked like he didn't want no, no young hoe, no middle aged hoe, no old hoe. He, he, he looked like he don't want no hoes. When I looked, when I looked, I said, I don't, you know, it don't look like he want no hoes. He look a little, you know, SpongeBob. Shout out to SpongeBob, honey. But it was the after the firing. When they fired him and his retaliations, it was that for me. That's when shit started to unfold and I said, ah, damn. Cause truly at first, at first, when it first came out, before he get started his, his TikTok podcast, I was giving Tokyo Tony, I was like, I ain't got shit to say, bitch. Surprise, bitch. I ain't got shit to say. That was me at first. <laughs> that was me. That was literally me at first. But when he started that TikTok podcast, I said, oh, girl, I got too much to say. No Queen Naja, bitch. I said, I got too much to say. Yeah, I got too much to say. So when he gets on TikTok, he has a mic and a headphone. I'm tired already. Now, people are defending him. Of course, how else is he going to make money? He just got let go from the shot. A mic and a headphone immediately. Three hours after you been fired, it's comedic. I don't give a fuck how you try to label it. It's comedic, okay? But he has a mic and a headphones and he begins reading off text messages and DMs he's been receiving from the students that are just pouring out their love and just saying, you know, how missed he'll be. That's cute. But then he starts getting emotional. And I start saying, all right, coming down. <laughs> I hope that you're okay. I, 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 I tried to see eye to eye with him. I said, all right, calm it down. Now, a couple days go by, and he's still potting on TikTok. <laughs> this live screen, he's talking about his relationship with the girls and saying, you know, him being an ally and him doing this with the girls showed them how to have Potomac and um, romantic relationship. Romantic? Potomac, even Potomac, romantic Potomac. Baby, let me tell you something, sir. This is motherfucking school. This is motherfucking Kiki Palmer. Bitch, no, this is motherfucking school. Life, when they get older, when they seek platonic relationships or, uh, or, or, or romantic relationships, they know what to look for. So they're not manipulated. They're not taken advantage of. There's nothing that needs to be instructed here on how to obtain and keep a romantic relationship with these girls that have on school shirts and braids and motherfucking uh, pings in their hair. They're 12. They need to go fix their relationship with their motherfucking mama, auntie, and grandmama. They don't need to figure out nothing with no motherfucking relationship with a nigga. You give anybody a motherfucking mic nowadays. These motherfuckers get twenty dollar mics and fifty dollar couches and get on my motherfucking nerves. I am tired. And I was rooting. What Kiki? What not Kiki? What I say? Tyra Banks say I was rooting for you. We were all rooting. We were all rooting for you. But every day you take your ass on TikTok and embarrass us even fucking more. Every fucking day. You got something ignorant to say. I'm like, girl, cut, cut his fucking mic. What Nikki say? Cut his fucking mic. <laughs> I'm blown away. Miss Jackson. I love y'all so much. Make sure you guys stay blessed. Um, leave a comment on any other topics that I shared today if you care. Um, but I'll definitely see y'all in a different video. Bye.